So this is Peaky. Peaky is a parasite that is inhabiting the corpse of a dead wizard. There are a lot of components to a character like Peaky. The corpse has to move. Peaky themselves has to move. If Peaky's doing something like looking at a book, the corpse still needs to be animated. And I don't want to do one variation for every possible combination of what Peaky's up to, what the corpse is up to, and what expressions Peaky has going on. So I've broken this out into a bunch of different components, and I'm going to show you how I put them together. Peaky was actually a Kickstarter backer character made by Acar, and I knew that they would be complex to put into the game. So I decided I would break it down into a couple of different separate moving parts, all moving together, so that I didn't have to actually animate every single variation myself. So I'm here in the game engine, and what I'm going to do is show you all the different parts I've got going on. First, let's take a look at the corpse, um, and let's have the corpse actually wake up. Next, let's take a look at the body, which is the term I'm using for Peaky the creature themselves, and I'm going to have them pop out of the hat here. And additionally, let's take the arm, wake that up, and uh, pop out the book. And on top of all of that, we can adjust Peaky's expression a little bit. Let's say that they are reading something exciting. There's a lot of different things that we can do here, and the reason that these all play well together is because I'm using multiple different tools for animating all of the parts separately. Looking back at my art program, even though this is all one character, I've got them broken up into a bunch of different components, and I actually export those separately as different sprite sheets. So the first one here is just the corpse, the second one is just Peaky, the third one is Expressions, as well as a single-eyed variant for when the magnifying lens is out, and the fourth one is the arm that pops out for the book. Each of these components gets its own tools in the form of animation players and animation trees, which means we can tell different parts of the character to do different things at different times. And each of those components is separately animated and set up with an animation player. So the tree is actually just stringing these pieces together in a way that I'm telling the computer makes sense. Each of these animations individually is really simple, but if you put them together right, you can string them together into something a little more comprehensive. So even though I've got a concept that is a parasite using a corpse to read a book, it's pretty easy to manage all of these components separately and together. It's a lot of setup, but it's worth it because now I can say, hey, when someone starts talking to you, wake up, look happy, pop open your book, and have a read. Thanks, hope you enjoyed.